In exchange for this very generous donation, all I have to do is hire Miss Cochran to start a second show choir at McKinley, which features your daughter. For which I will cover any and all expenses. My sugar's a supernova, Figgy. Dating your judge, that is so something sisters usually share. <laughs> Yeah, um, we started dating right after Lewis and I got divorced. Before that, it was totally platonic. With a little bit of Skype sex. Good to know. So, banging more than gavels, are we? Well, the jury may have convicted her, but as the presiding judge, I believe the only thing Meredith stole was my heart. Okay, you're grossing Santa out, but, uh, Santa got you a gift anyway because Santa is so forgiving. Wait a minute, Santa. This must have fallen out of your bag. It's got Meredith's name on it. Are you elephant kidding me? My dear, sweet, innocent Meredith, will you marry me? Of course I will! Want this lead your stick? Yes, sir. I was number two, Ramsey was three, Brinkman four. Who reached him first? I did, sir. I saw a Roman candle short of the field. As soon as I got out of my harness, I took off to find him. Was he dead when you reached him, Corporal Daffemeyer? Yes, sir died on impact. I'm sure. Well, at least I hope he did. Mr. Jones, we are at DEFCON 5 and it's climbing. The Port Billion cattle contracts are losing $50,000 a penny. We are down 10 cents already this morning. Sorry to interrupt, Mr. Jammer, but there are 10 calls waiting. Not now, Debbie! Talk to me, Jammer. So at this point, I think it's simply about how much pain we can withstand. We've got some serious players waiting in the back room. Yeah, like who? Remember that, uh, insurance tycoon from St. Louis? Yes, I do. He's terrible. I took a lot of money for him more than once. Yeah. Well, he brought his brother, who's richer and even worse at cards. Looks like my night is looking up. Thought you had plans with your wife. What happened? Plans change, man. Oh, uh, well, what do we have here? A couple of newcomers. Oh, man, you gotta be kidding me. Pals are shorties? Maybe we are. What's it to you? Don't get wise with me, legs. You're here for the same reason the shorty was. Looking for the Falcon, ain't you? Well, it belongs to Johnny. I wish I'd never met Victor Burke. I was willing to forget about the whole video poker scam, but Gavin just wouldn't let it go. When Victor couldn't pay us back, Gavin came up with a different form of repayment. What did you ask Victor to do? Well, Gavin said we were just going to smack him around a little, straighten him out. Next thing I know, Gavin's got him hanging over the balcony. I tried pulling him back up, but Gavin was pissed. Victor was hanging off the side, begging for his life. And then Gavin just let go. Um, Detective Booth, it's Detective First. Can we come in? Sure, what's this about? Do you know what Irina Kosakoff? She's a conniving, manipulative little grifter who put my son through hell. She's dead. What? Are you serious? She was murdered. I can price out some of those um, prefab shower stall units. They have a little... Prefab? Plastic? No, no, they're mostly uh, acrylic. What, like acrylic is plastic, isn't it? Acrylic, they're nice. Yeah. They're high-end like... plastic, they're very... High-end. But we're, we're getting into a substantial rebuild now. I mean, just eyeballing it, just top of my head, I would have to knock out this whole wall just to make space, and we'd have to rework these pipes. Thanks, thanks for that, Warren. Uh, but just give me a price for the shower, the doorway, and the support bars. Start with that, okay? Or we could come up with another solution. Like what? Now, despite my feeling that it was unnecessary, the chain of command suggested the unit all undergo combat stress counseling with a shrink. Commander Marin singled out BFC Kilpatrick for further treatment. And why do you suppose she did that? Kilpatrick had stopped caring about anything but the mission, ma'am. Could be argued that he was well-trained. Well, contrary to popular opinion, Colonel, a well-trained Marine is not an unthinking automaton. I'm just asking questions, Captain. PFC Kilpatrick was a bright, dedicated young man when I met him. But something happened to him, ma'am. 